A jury handed down a guilty verdict to the father who murdered his two teenage daughters and then spent more than a decade on the run. After the jury's decision, Yasser Saeed's ex-wife called him the devil and said he deserved a punishment much tougher than life in prison for their daughter's murders in 2008. Prosecutors say he killed them in a rage over them dating non-Muslim men. Fox 4's Alex Boyer has followed the trial from the very start. He's back at the courthouse with reaction to the verdict. Alex. Hi guys, that's right. You know, it took this jury about three hours to reach that guilty verdict. This has been a very a long and emotional journey, as you might imagine, uh, for the ex-wife of uh, Yasser Saeed, who of course is the mother of the slain girls. Uh, Patricia Owens today, her voice uh, shaky at times as she addressed uh, Saeed. She claimed uh, to have been abused for years by him, as well as her own uh, daughters facing that same abuse. So Yasser Saeed showed no emotion as the verdict was read by the judge. We, the jury, unanimously find the defendant Yasser Saeed guilty of the offense of capital murder as charged in the indictment. So the judge then sentenced Saeed to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Before he was taken away, though, he heard two victim impact statements, uh, one of them from his ex-wife, Patricia Owens. Uh, she held up pictures of her dead daughters, Sarah and Amina Saeed. Uh, she said because of what Yasser did, uh, she will never get to see her daughters, who were then 17 and 18 years old, uh, grow up. She won't be able to see them graduate from college. Both wanted to be doctors. Uh, she also also will never get to see them married and will also never be a grandmother. At one point, Owens looked directly at Yasser and reminded him of all of the abuse that they endured as a family, allegedly having had a knife pulled on her at one point. A Yasser also pulled a gun on Amina. Owens said Yasser made her a weak woman, but that those days are over. Yasser Saeed, you're a devil. You murdered your girls. And I'm going to say this. I hope somebody gets their hands on you and hurt you and do everything you ever done to anybody that's counting. The nine bullets you put in Sarah, nine. And she called 911. Amina, two bullets in the heart. You could keep those evil eyes glaring, just glare away, because this is going to be the last time that you see me. It's been an honor and privilege to stand up and be an advocate for Sarah and Amina. Um, I've been thinking about them the past two weeks, every morning when I wake up, every night when I close my eyes. And so it was very relieving to get the guilty verdict and to finally get justice for these girls. Yeah, and that was lead prosecutor Lauren Black, who called Yasser Saeed a true narcissist who believed he was smarter than everybody else. Uh, Black uh, said afterwards that she was actually glad that Yasser Saeed uh, to uh, to decided to take the witness stand, uh, giving her the chance to cross-examine him and to poke holes in his stories, uh, in her words, exposing him uh, to everybody who was watching this case. Afterwards, we also spoke with uh, Yasser Saeed's defense attorney, and he tells us that he is uh, filing a notice to appeal. Back to you.